me, right? So I'm so proud of that project, except for one part. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, nah, I don't do that. But I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? I damn near had a relapse, right? Because y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? So all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you going to do, Cole? <laughs> my niggas like, Bit boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh, my fucking God. Text flooded. I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's wartime. Boom, 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 right? Niggas want to see blood. And, and I was conflicted because, one, I know my heart. You know what I mean? And, like, I know how I feel about my peers, these two niggas that I just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? So I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way, but the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and, and in that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? As do I. So I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path. Because I ain't going to lie to y'all. Past two days felt terrible. Like, it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. So all of that to say, man, I want to I wanna now perform the song that's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God. And the name of the song is called Love Yours. I want to do that for y'all right now. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. And we got J. Cole at the Dreamville Fest where he meets on stage. He and Phil Wright dissing Kendrick Lamar. And in my personal opinion, I ain't think this diss track was necessary or needed. I ain't think it was whack, but I also didn't think it was that good. You know, if he would have just said those few lines in the song and just left it at that, I think it definitely would have been better than dedicating the whole record towards him. And on top of that, there's no real issue behind it. So, you know, of course he ain't gonna feel right going at Kendrick because there's really no issue. It's just that the people, like he said, wanted to see blood. Everybody online wanted to see, you know, Cole versus Kendrick. And really this whole track, uh, the like that track was aimed at Drake more than anything. Cause you know, Drake and Kendrick more so been having the sublimes back and forth. So, you know, when Kendrick said, uh, you know, it's just big me, you know, Cole, he caught a little slight, but that's why I said he could have just jabbed him on the track, but instead he made a whole record and you know, Joe Button had a good breakdown. I feel like Cole's heart was in this record. Like just by, you know, like Joe said, the tone of his voice, like, he ain't sound excited to do the record basically like he ain't sound like he had that hunger or that ang you know that anger towards kendrick to do something like this now i was a little excited when i heard the record i ain't gonna lie but then there was another part of me that was like yo do i really want to see cole and kendrick go at it i mean if there's something real behind the scenes that we didn't know about and you know they had a legit anger towards each other you know i'm all for it but you know 
if they don't got no real issue and you know they're both peaceful non-street rappers i mean i don't know what y'all expect i seen the internet said that this was going to be a poetry battle but i rather see kendrick versus uh drake honestly i mean we seen what drake did to meek mill and drake did body meek mill with that back to back that's one of my favorite dish tracks honestly but push a t that was a whole different monster but we're still waiting for drake to respond i mean so far it seems like he's ducking the smoke let me know in your comments so y'all think that he's gonna respond and let me know y'all feel about you know j cole backtracking the diss track and of course if you like the video make sure you like and subscribe